it's out today. A cancer surgeon in Southampton says he's worried that people haven't been getting symptoms checked out because of concerns around coronavirus. Some cancer services were reduced during the lockdown but are now starting to get back to normal. Laura Ansell has been talking to one patient who's been preparing to have his operation today. 74-year-old Terry was diagnosed with cancer of the esophagus in December last year. I can't believe I am as ill as I'm supposed to be. I feel very well. Well, I even went to the doctor thinking I had a hiatus hernia. And it was only when, when I went and had the gastroscopy that I realised I was in a lot more trouble than I thought. Terry's had chemotherapy to shrink his tumour, and today is the day of his operation. Just arrived for my uh, first major cancer operation since March, since lockdown. Uh, this is a massive day for Terry, massive day for his family, as we resume normal cancer services here in Southampton. Patients waiting for surgery in the UK is going to be a massive problem as we enter the recovery phase from the pandemic, especially because we have to mitigate the risk from COVID-19 until we have a, an effective vaccine. To think that I'm going for in first, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I feel honoured in a funny sort of way. The COVID situation, as far as I'm concerned, um, it's down to me. I've always felt that the hospital themselves will take care of that. If I, if I can't trust them to do that, um, I wouldn't go in for the operation. Terry's tumour will then be analysed here in the Cancer Research UK laboratory in Southampton. Cancer Research UK has seen over £100 million of shortfall over the pandemic, and it funds nearly half of all cancer research in the UK. The impact of COVID-19 may also have discouraged some people from having their symptoms checked out. I'm really concerned that patients haven't come forward quickly enough. Cancer hasn't stopped happening, but we've stopped seeing those patients. And I fear that patients are going to present later in their cancer journey. We know for all cancers that the sooner we see the cancer and we find the cancer, the better the chance of cure. And we've heard that Terry is doing very well after his operation and we wish him all the best for the future.